this is a Hot Tools blow dryer brush. And this is a round brush and blow dryer. I want to put them head to head and see what happens. This is the first time I've ever used this. This is also the first time I've ever tried to blow out my hair. 99% sure my hair is stuck. Okay, we got a little bit of volume, but I feel like it looks so frizzy. But I just, I couldn't handle it. I couldn't do it. I just had to. Hi guys, welcome to Emory Lane. <laughs> Where my goal is to save you money by battling similar beauty products and methods to see which one's best for you. Oh, and remind you that you are an act. Okay, this is a Hot Tools blow dryer brush. And this is a round brush and blow dryer. Very, very cheap round brush and blow dryer. I want to put them head to head and see what happens. Okay, so I got this brush in Allure Beauty Box. I've never had one of these before. I really haven't blow dry my hair that much over the years. For years, I went without heat. When I decided to slowly incorporate it back in, blow drying was not one of the ones that I did very often unless it was like super late and my hair was really wet. So this is the first time I've ever used this. This is also the first time I've ever tried to blow out my hair. This is supposed to give you a super duper easy blowout without any trouble. And supposedly, I'm sure it's hard. A lot of people say it's hard to blow out your hair at home on your own head. I'm sure it is, but I want to see how much harder it is compared to this because you can get one of these really, this one's really dirty, sorry, this isn't mine. I'm borrowing this from someone else, but you can get a Revlon or um, there's a Conair or like a bunch of other cheap blow dryers for like 10 to 20 dollars. And then you can get a decently sturdy round brush for like five to ten dollars, just depending on how much you want to spend. So if you could spend like 30 bucks all together and get these two things, this is 75. So all I'm saying, is it worth the money? Or if you don't already have these at home, is it just better to just buy these? That's what I want to find out today. I've watched a few tutorials on how to do a blowout on your own head at home. I've also watched a couple tutorials the best way to use this so but again I haven't used this before and I've never tried to blow out my hair before I have used like a normal like flat brush to kind of like brush my hair out while I've blow dried my hair but like I said I haven't blow dried my hair a ton in general so um, I'm going to split my hair down the middle I'd use just the blow dryer and the brown brush on one side and the blowout brush on the other and we'll see which one's easier which one has better results uh, oh side note my hair doesn't look wet because it's not wet on top underneath it's still really wet I have really long, thin hair that is not really layered, and so it gets really, really dry on the top layer, and then underneath it takes forever for it to dry, and so I just had to let the bottom half dry enough, because, you know, trying to use a pull a brush through your hair while it's still soaking wet and use a blow dryer at the same time is the biggest pain ever. So I just have a little spray bottle in front of me so I can spray any parts that have gotten too dry. Anyway, so I've already brushed my hair out, and I used the Heritage Argan Oil in my hair, and also the Light as a Feather Leave-In Conditioner. I Everyone recommends kind of doing like a mohawk section on the top of your head. I said I brushed my hair out, but I don't know if my hair believes me. And then depending on your hair thickness, they recommend it either dividing it in half or dividing in three more sec or three more sections. Yeah, my hair's uh, not super thick, so I'm just gonna do it in half, and I think I will be okay. Yeah, it's still wet underneath. Okay, okay. So um, everyone said don't take a section bigger than the brush, like wider than the brush. So that seems good. And then you're just supposed to kind of go like that while you go along. So the one thing that I I don't love that happens when I blow dry my hair, even when I blow dry my hair in a downwards motion, so it's so the air is like going in the same direction as my hair. The hair gets frizzy still. Which is one reason hair gets pretty you know, frizzy no matter what, but it gets like extra poopy in not an attractive way. I'm going to put music over this so you don't have to listen to my blow dryer. That was a fail. The hair um, that's flipped up right above it is getting stuck in the brush. I won't go quite as close to my root and hope that helps. 99% sure my hair is stuck. Hold on one second. Okay, we're back. I got my hair unstuck. That actually took like a minute. Um, I'm gonna try starting lower because some people said to start low and some people said to start high. So I'm gonna try starting lower and see if that helps. I got some good volume, but I feel like it looks so frizzy. And I got a little tiny bit of curl at the end. I don't know if you could see that. It like went in a little bit, but it looks so frizzy. So the trick for my hair, maybe it's because it's so long, but it seems like it's a lot easier to start in the middle, work my way up, and then work my way back down, which is kind of a pain, but whatever. Okay. 
Okay, I had a feeling that things wouldn't go the best when I sat down to film this, but I really wanted to make a point. I didn't think it would go this bad though. I mean, I feel like even though I tried taking smaller sections and even like smaller ones that, that I started, I just, I didn't get as much volume as I would like. I got my ends to like round out. But I feel like my hair just looks poofy like it normally does when I blow dry it, except I can get more volume just by like turning it upside down and blow drying it. So it kind of feels like a waste of time and heat. I'm hoping this this side goes better. So this, I think it has like charcoal on, on like the metal part. It has the like charcoal infused gold. And it has cool, low, and high. Low is supposed to be for fine, thin hair like mine. High is supposed to be for thicker hair. So I'm going to section off my hair again. I think I'm gonna do a pretty thin section just because I want it to go better than last time. I really hope it doesn't frizz out like it did on the other side. So I was watching a tutorial and she, uh, this, this lady said that you want to make like a C shape. So you let it sit at the roots for a second and then you make like a, a big, big C or a half circle. So you get volume all the way through. So we'll see if that trick works. Okay, we got a little bit of volume. Maybe I didn't hold it at the root long enough. Okay, hey, that's a little better. I got some extra volume there. Oh my goodness, my hair's so blonde right there. Guys, my hair is slowly just turning blonde and I'm not mad at it. But like anytime, I feel like every time I look, it's a little bit more blonde in certain places. Okay, I'm gonna try with a little bigger section and see what happens. That works pretty okay. I feel like there's definitely more shape on this side than on that side. And even though it still looks kind of frizzy to me, comparing it to this side, it looks so much more smooth. Okay, so this side definitely has a lot more volume than this side. I kind of want to try the blow dryer again and use a technique of just holding it at the root and then using the C-shape method because that that's not hard to do when it's uh, all together in one tool. Oh, see, that worked a lot better. Hold on. I still feel like I have a tiny bit more volume from this and it feels a tiny bit more smoother. But that worked a lot better. Okay, I don't want to decide my full opinion until both sides are all the way done, especially on the top. I want that to be done before I decide. Oh, it's still really wet under here. <laughs> Okay, this is what the hair looks like. I really feel like this just looks smoother, even more smooth than the piece that I did, which I can't tell which piece I redid when I used like the C shape method. And it just has more shape to it. I don't know if it's like, I, I purposefully used a brush with kind of the same shape, um, but this, I don't know if it's because it's bigger, it just has better volume, or it's because like the heat's coming through the brush or what. But I'm doing the same thing on both sides. So I feel like just look, it just looks a little bit better. It feels softer, that's for sure. It feels, it feels so much softer. I didn't like touch both sides until right the second. It feels so much softer. Wow. Well, let's see what the top looks like. Okay, and then with this top section, you're supposed to go backwards. Just FYI, it's a lot easier to blow out shorter hair. <laughs> I have like fringe, not even fringe, just like shorter layers compared to the rest of my hair. That was so much easier to do. <laughs> So we do have some volume. Okay, this side's done. There is some volume, but I feel like it's so hard to, on the top layer, since my hair's so long, even on the shorter piece, it was really hard to get the ends rounded out. I still feel like I like this side better. So I just did the C-shape thing again. I don't know, I'll keep going. Okay, I'm done with both sides. I feel like there's just a teeny bit more volume on this side in my roots Ooh, than on this side. Um, but here's the thing. I feel like the hot tool side looks a lot less frizzy. I feel like it still looks kind of frizzy, but it doesn't look nearly as bad. I feel like it was just a little bit easier to manage because you're only using one hand. 
Okay, I know it's a different day, but I just, I couldn't handle it. I couldn't do it. I just had to test the brush out one more time. I felt like one time was just not enough. I looked up a couple more tips and I think I figured out, I don't know if you can see how much volume I have right here. I think I figured out the best way to use this and get the hang of it pretty quickly. So I've done this side. Uh, I also feel like my hair was not wet enough, which sounds weird, but everyone was like, make sure your hair's basically dry. I don't think that worked. I tell dry my hair I did my makeup and I didn't do a ton of makeup either and then I just got straight into it and I feel like it worked a lot better so things I learned were holding it at the root for a lot longer than you think really 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 helps that way you're really making sure it's dry 100% and then once it's dry I just use my mirror to look at the handle and um, it's harder to do on the right side but uh, to switch it to the cool option so I can set the roots and that makes the biggest difference ever and then I go in and kind of do that c-shaped thing I also make sure to hold my roots while I'm going in the rest of the way like through the rest of the hair to make sure I don't lose that volume I just got and I feel like a combination of all those things really helps okay so you can see the huge difference in volume I will go through and do the rest of my hair and then show you what it looks like when it's all done I also wanted to talk about one thing I noticed that my hair did this week after I used this that's never happened before to me so let me finish up my hair here's what things look like I have a lot of volume I can't remember if I showed a picture beforehand of what my hair normally looks like when I just let it air dry so here's that for you I like the volume the only problem is we're back to square one where I was like there's a lot of frizz so I'm gonna try to put a little bit of hair oil in it and see if that helps while I do that, I wanted to talk to you about the situation I ran into last week. Um, so I noticed all week, see that looks better. I noticed all week that my hair was so staticky, which out of all of the issues I have with my hair, static is not one of them. I never ever have had static issues. Yes, I live in a very dry desert, basically but static is not one of the issues I've ever had. And I was so confused because it was only on one side of my head and I'm like, what is happening? And then it hit me, I was like, it's this, it has to be. And so I wanted to do my hair again, see what it looks like now that I figured out a few more tricks and then report back today at the end of the day and see if it was staticky. Because it wasn't at first, like when I first finished, I'm pretty sure it was like halfway through the day and then the rest of the week I noticed it. So I'm gonna report back real quick and see if I deal with static again. And then I'll wrap up and tell you what I think about this compared to just using a blow dryer. Okay, so I found out some things. You wanna see? I don't, I don't know if you can tell, but my hair is so staticky just from, from from going like this which I do this all day every day my hair is down oh it's sticking in my neck it's horrible this isn't the end of the world there are some sprays that you can I, I feel like my hair is attacking me there are some sprays that you can use I have never tried any because I haven't ever needed to there's also dryer sheets which I don't know if that would fix that long term though the only time I've ever had to use dryer sheets for static is when I like put on like a, like a shirt that was really staticky and it made my hair all staticky because of the friction let's see if that if it happens again let's see but then it just get staticky again so that's not like long-term fix so knowing that I normally don't have a static issue and this gives me a pretty big one unless I can find a spray that makes your hair anti-static I don't know how often I would use this but I think it does a good job at what it's supposed to do I think um, in order to give yourself a blowout if you have long hair with this you're gonna have to really practice um, short hair I don't think it would be as hard in fact I know it's not as hard because I was <laughs> this part of where I have fringe was really really easy where it's just like to right here so it's getting pretty long wow I didn't realize how long it is oh my goodness static Ugh, that wasn't hard it was the rest of my head that was hard and so I think if you have longer hair you're gonna need some practice with it the frizziness went away on my hair after a while that was there I think it just needed to calm down a little bit and now it looks basically like my normal hair texture does on day one but I have extra volume so I do enjoy that I think I could see myself using this a lot more than just just a normal blow dryer. I still will probably air dry my hair like 80% of the time, but I definitely will use this when I want to use a blow dryer. I'm just gonna have to find an anti-static spray. Did you know this such thing as a vibrating brush? Yeah. If you wanna check out a video all about it, you can click right here. I love you guys so much, and don't ever forget that you are enough. Bye.